Hey gang, um, today I wanted to share something with you guys that uh, kind of hit me kind of hard last week. Um, I was surfing YouTube and uh, I, I saw, I just happened to notice a conservative talk show host was interviewing a trans uh, woman, a representative, of, a legal representative for us about whether, what the standard was to, to determine what is a woman and what is a man. And of course he had an agenda and it was all about, uh, you know, who gets to use the restroom um, and about uh, government subsidies to females to start up businesses. Um, so, you know, his thing was, if I, if I just say I'm a woman, can I get these subsidies? Uh, where is the standard? Who do I have to prove it to? And that and that was an interesting topic. I, I give him, I'll give him that. But what I want to comment about was all the comments underneath it. Okay, because the video, the his video, his show was about this standard. How do we determine this standard? Um, the comments underneath the video were derogatory remarks about the trans woman how unattractive she was, in their opinion, that she, in their opinion, she was just a man. Uh, she put her, she put her genitals in a blender, and she was mentally ill, and and on and on and on and on, until I got to this one who said he had a cure for all of us, and that was his nine millimeter pill. Whereupon I, I decided it was time to keep my my fingers shut, uh, fingers from uh, from uh, typing, and I was going to type a comment to that. And I said, "Please don't, please don't kill anyone, sir. Um, uh, please get some education about us before you name start naming your enemies and who you're going to kill." Of course, he saw my icon, in my channel, and he responded immediately with, "I wouldn't dirty a bullet with you." And um, I I looked at your site and I got all the information I need about you and and your sodomistic ways and how you want to push your lifestyle all, all over the rest of the world and you're only 0 0.03 of the LGBT community percentage of the community and there's not enough of you to be worth anything anyway so you have no right to, to tell us we have to kowtow to your beliefs and on and on and on and you're gonna I don't want you frightening my children in the restroom and trans women stand up in the red no man you're going to go in the restroom and stand up and scare all the girls and and uh uh your homosexual lifestyle you know you're trying to force all this this bathroom stuff on you and and, and he got all done and it really 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 frightened me no one has ever no one has ever spoken to me that way certainly not a typed a message to me like that and i had to think about it for a little while do i want to keep going with this guy so I decided at length that I would keep going with this guy and I responded, you obviously didn't look at my channel like you said you did because you, if you would have read the about section, you would have saw that I'm about education and enlightenment and interacting with the general public um, and entertainment. And I'm really working hard on the last part to get better at it because I'm not that good at it yet. And uh, I'm not trying to force anything on anybody. My 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 comment was not about wanting to use the restroom. I and this is a tip for for you girls out there that are just getting out and, and getting out and about and dressed as women or presenting as women. It doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter if you're in a store. It doesn't matter if you're in a restaurant. It doesn't matter if you're in a nightclub. It doesn't matter where you're at. You're in an office building. Hey, you're worried about the restroom? You gotta you gotta go to the restroom. Go and find someone in management, go to find an employee, and say, just simply say to them, can you direct me to the restroom? I would uh, bet you a dollar that they're going to direct you to the ladies' room. And if they don't, and you can walk to the next building, then just go to the next building, because I have always been directed to the ladies' room. And pretty sure with this voice and these shoulders, they always knew I wasn't a, a, a biological or a genetic woman. 
okay? And, you know, I've been all over the country um, of the United States, uh, and I've been in areas that aren't traditionally LGBT friendly, okay? But I don't have issues. I don't have these issues. This is what's freaking me out about these people. Anyway, they're all haters. And then he comes back with, a, with another comment. Um, and then I said, well, once again, I got to reiterate, I'm not, you know, look at my channel. You know, and the funny, the best part of that was I picked up four subscribers <laughs> overnight that that I recognized their <laughs> their uh, their names on that on that off of that video. So they, I actually either pulled some pulled some trans trans haters or pulled some people that were on the fence. There were a few people on there that were trying to stand up for us, so I got I got them. It was awesome. It, it was awesome at the end. So now I'm on another one because I'm getting into this now. I'm gonna go and find these people. Where are these people? So I went on a another. A channel for a conservative rock star here in the United States who um, was just praising that Donald Trump had been elected president. Okay, uh, that's all right. I'm okay with that. The president of the United States has not hurt me and has not, never hurt me in any way. It doesn't matter which one it is. I always somehow figure out a way to get by. Okay, maybe they hurt some people. They don't hurt me. Bottom line is, um, as I'm scrolling through the comments, I, I find a guy who's having a discussion about of minorities and races and says that he knows he knows men that came back from World War II that said there really wasn't a Holocaust. So, yeah, yeah. So I so so I comment big letters WTF really? <laughs> and and his response is so cool. It was so cool. His response to me is quit trying to make us let you use the ladies room <laughs> and and quit forcing your lifestyle on us and quit scaring our children and 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 on and on and on and on and on and on I'm like my guy's the same guy only he doesn't want to shoot me at least but it's the same guy so when he got done I said same response hey um who said anything about the ladies room I'm freaking out that you don't believe in the Holocaust. <laughs> oh, that was, I believe that was my comment. <laughs> and, and then he goes to my channel and he comes back with, well, you know what? You, you are attract, you look like an attractive woman. You won't have any problem using the ladies room, dear. And my wife and I have no problem with your lifestyle and we even know gay people. And I'm like, wait, oh, he separated me from gay people. So he's got something going on. He's got a little, you know, he understands a little bit. And, and I'm, and I'm, I'm reading this thing. I'm like, oh my God, I'm converting him. Okay. But I can use the ladies room. Okay. I should have, I should have came back with, you, you can't tell in my videos that I'm eight feet tall, <laughs> but I, I'm not. But anyway, that would have been funny. That would have blew his mind. Um, the, it was so it was so cool, and I and I texted back, and I go, yeah, okay, I'm on your side, okay. I don't want to force you to make let me use the ladies' room. I use whatever restroom I I, I want to, okay, um, and and I go wherever I want to go, and I've been doing it for longer than I care to remember. Okay, I'm old, all right. I've been doing it for a long time, and. He came back with, well, my wife and I are old too, and you know we would love to have dinner with you and your significant other sometime if that was possible. And you know we think that your lifestyle should be. And I'm and I'm like, and when when was all that said and done? I and I responded, do you believe in the Holocaust now? <laughs> and I, he didn't respond to that one. So I guess I still have to work on him on that one. Anyway, you know. You guys, a lot of you guys knew it, all right? I'm naive, all right? Um, obviously, I have a personality that gets me out, gets me moving, kind of maybe beats down other personalities that, that might, you know, if I see an opening. Uh, I don't have issues, um, but, but, I've, but I've found the trans haters. I found the trans haters. Kind of doubt too many of them would talk the way they type when facing me but you know i found them 
and uh, it really opened my eyes, you know, so I'm not going to let my guard down, when I, and neither should any of you, okay? Uh, the vast majority of the people, as I've said in so many of my videos, are on our side, and uh, I got, once this guy didn't think I was trying to let him, let me use the ladies room, then we were all good, or once he thought that I looked like a real woman, then we were good. So I guess if you're a trans woman and you don't think that you look like a real woman, then, you know, I, I believe we're all beautiful. I know I have so many friends that are, you know, larger women, um, and they don't think that they look good. And we, I get them out, we go out, we have fun, and no one, every, everybody has fun. Um, it's not how big you are, you know, it's how you present yourself, you know, and these, these bigots and these narrow minded, you know, not, I, I, I made another comment after I got done with the nine millimeter guy on that, on that conservative talk show host video that I, it was amazing to me how uh, such an intelligent and articulate talk show host could attract so many inbred, redneck, ignorant, <laughs> um, homophobes <laughs> that, you know, to a site where they're actually, actually engaging in intelligent conversation. Um, but it was the topic, it was the topic that did it. And, um, that, that brought them all there. Um, so yeah, there's, there's trans haters. Uh, they're alive and well. And, uh, I'm just got to get out there and try to convert as many of them as I can. Hey, um, that's my, that's the closest things I can come to a rant. Uh, how did, how did, how did it, uh, did it do anything for you? Put something in the comments. Um, love and peace to all. Not just all of you, everyone, even the nine millimeter guy. And, um, let's just try to accept one another for who they are. <laughs>